Hi, I'm Tom Harris and you're joining me to watch drafting of a concrete road barrier. First thing we do is just use the create drawing command, select the template, and then we select the options and the view. I'll choose a custom view, that one's okay, for the center view. Then I select my additional views and tell it to place it on the page. Now I might want to change some options. I might want to change the ISO view to be a shaded with edges and I might want to change this view too. Um, actually I'll, all I'll do with this view is I'll turn off the hidden lines. So I go to my display options and turn off the hidden lines. Now to perform the shading changes I need to update my view. Next thing I want to do is I'll actually create a broken out section view. Now what this is, it lets me define a section to cut away on one view, set the depth of that cutaway on another view, and then lastly I can apply the cutout to a third view. So there's my profile, there's my depth, and I'm applying it to this view. Now I'll just go in and make some changes to the way that's displayed. So I go into my properties and the first thing I'll do is I'll change the way the concrete um, sectioning happens and I'll change that to a concrete hash. Okay, and you can see the concrete hashing there. Um, it updates with the view display so it will update as, as the co correct size when it prints. Next thing I'll do is I'll actually show all of the reinforcing in the view. So I'll turn off section for the reinforcing. When I update my view, you'll see the reinforcing. You can now see it where previously it was sectioned out. Now, I'll also add a parts list to my view. Default is it auto balloons. So I'll go into my property manager. And I better just put it all on the screen so you can see it. And here I can edit in a spreadsheet form things like document number. Just give, I can see the preview of the part I'm working with at the time, just in case it's a very large assembly. Now I can change my titles, I can change projects, all sorts of things. So I'll give it a title. change which file I'm working on, preview updates, and I'll give the reinforcing a different part number. As soon as I hit OK, that updates it, and you'll notice the parts list is now out of date, so I just need to update views to bring that back. Okay. Next I want to place some dimensions on my views. And I want to do this because in the next section I also want it to be able to track my dimension changes. Now you'll see that I can actually place dimensions on the isometric model and these are true dimensions, they're not scaled relative to the different view style and shape. So that concludes the basic drafting, thank you for watching.